Today we're going to talk about probability. An experiment is an activity based on chance. Example, tossing a coin or rolling a number cube. Trial is each repetition or observation of an experiment. Or a trial is each repetition or observation of an experiment. Outcome is a possible result of a probability experiment. An event is an outcome or set of outcomes of an experiment or situation. Probability is a number from 0 to 1. Of 0% to 100%, that describes how likely an event is to occur. Complement is the set of all outcomes that are not the event. And a sample space is all possible outcomes of an experiment. We want to look at our number line. We're going to use our number line here to help us solve some problems. We have, it goes to impossible, means there is a 0% chance of that happening. A 50% chance is as likely as not, and a 100% chance is certain. Unlikely is between 0% and 50%, and likely is between 50% and certain. What is the probability of rolling an even number on a standard number cube? The first step is to find the sample space. The sample space is going to be all of your possible outcomes. When you roll a standard number cube, you have a chance of getting a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So there are six possible outcomes. Step two is you want to find the number of ways that you can roll an even. Two is even, four is even, and six is even. So we have three ways to get an even number. Step three, to find the probability of rolling an even number, you want to put the number of ways that you can roll an even number, which is three, over the number of faces of the number cube, which is six. And then when we have our probability, we always want to simplify. So that 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 half. So is there is the probability of rolling an even number is 1 half. When you're trying to find the probability of an event, you're going to put the number of times the event occurs. So the number of ways we were able to roll an even would be your numerator, which is 3, and the total number of equally likely possible outcomes, which was the number of faces on the number cube, is 6 and then you always want to simplify your fraction. So if we go back to our number line, we see right here we have 1 half, and 1 half is saying that it is likely it's not. So the probability of rolling an even number is going to be as likely as not. Each time you roll a number cube, a number from 1 to 6 lands face up. This is called an event. So we want to figure out what is the probability or the likelihood that an event would occur. Rolling a number less than 7. If we roll a number cube and we want to roll a number less than 7, we could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So there are six ways to roll a number less than 7 out of six possible outcomes, so that equals 1. So we go back to our number line and we see that 1 is a certain. So the probability of rolling a number less than 7 is certain. Rolling a number, rolling an 8. If we look at our standard number cube, we have zero chances of rolling an 8. So we have zero chances out of six possible outcomes. So going back to our number line, if it has a zero chance of occurring, it would be impossible. What is the likelihood of rolling a number greater than four? A number greater than four would be five or six. 
So we have two chances out of six possible outcomes to roll a number that is greater than four. And two over six simplifies to one third. On our number line, one third falls between zero and one half. So it is unlikely that we would roll a number greater than four. What is the probability of rolling a 5? Well, we could roll a 5. So we have one chance out of 6 of rolling a 5. And 1 sixth is between 0 and 1 half on the number line. So the likelihood of rolling a 5 is unlikely. What is the likelihood of rolling a number other than 6? We could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5. So we have 5 ways of rolling a number other than 6 out of 6 possible outcomes. The fraction 5, 6 fits between 1 half and 1 on the number line, so it is likely that we would roll a number other than 6. What is the likelihood of rolling an even number? Well, we could roll a 2, a 4, or a 6. So there are three ways we could roll an even number out of six possible outcomes. 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 half. On the number line, 1 half is as likely as not. Rolling a number less than 5. A number less than 5? We could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4. So there are 4 possible ways to roll a number less than 5 out of 6 possible outcomes, which simplifies to 2 thirds. 2 thirds is between 1 half and 1, so it is likely that we would roll a number less than 5. What is the likelihood of rolling an odd number? We could roll a 1, a 3, or a 5. So there are three ways to roll an odd number out of six possible outcomes, which simplifies to 1 half. And on our number line, 1 half is 50% as likely as not. Now we're going to talk about using the complement of an event. The complement of an event is when we find the probability that the event would not occur. So we're going to take the sum of the probabilities of an event and its complement equals 1. When you do an experiment, something has to happen. You're either going to get the desired event or you're going to get something that's not the desired event and that would be your complement. So your complement is not the event. And together those two must equal one because something's going to happen. You're either going to get the desired event or you're not going to get the desired event. So the probability of the event plus the probability of the complement, which is not the event, is going to equal one. So let's look at an example. There are two red jacks in a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability of not getting a red jack if you select one card at random? Okay, we know that if we want to select a red jack, we have two chances. So the probability of getting a red jack, we have two chances out of the total of 52 cards that we could get a red jack. So if we add the probability of not getting a red jack to that, it would equal one. So if we have two chances of getting a red jack and there are 52 cards, 52 minus 2, that means there are 50 cards that are not a red jack. So the probability of drawing a red jack would be 50 over 52. So the probability of not a red jack is 50 over 52. So if we take the probability of not getting a red jack and we add it to the probability of getting a red jack, 
which is 2 over 52. It would equal 52 over 52, which equals 1. There's another way to do this, as shown here. We have red jack. Probability of getting a red jack is 2 out of 52. And if we set it equal to 1, and here we are changing the 1 to a fraction to be 52 over 52, and then we are going to subtract the probability of getting a red jack from both sides. If we subtract the probability of getting a red jack from both sides, we get 50 over 52, which is the probability of not getting a red jack. So the complement would be not getting a red jack. And as always with probability and with fractions, we want to simplify our fractions. So 50 over 52 simplifies to 25 over 26. So the probability that you will not draw a red jack is 25 out of 26. It is likely that you will not select a red jack. So it means it is unlikely that you will select a red jack. So there are two different ways to look at the complement problems. You can set it up as shown here, where you have your red jack plus your not red jack and set it equal to 1. And then you can subtract from both sides to figure out what's left. Or you could just start and say, since we're looking for the complement of the event, then we know that we want to look for not getting a red jack, as we did here. And if we have two chances of getting a red jack, then we have 50 chances of not getting a red jack. And so we can put 50 over 52, and then we can simplify that. And either way you do it, you're going to get 25 over 26 when you're done. Let's look at an example. A jar contains eight marbles marked with the numbers one through eight. You pick a marble at random. What is the probability of not picking the marble marked with the number five? So since we are looking for the probability of not picking the marble marked with number 5, we are looking for the complement. So we have the probability of choosing a 5 plus the probability of not choosing a 5, and that is going to equal 1. So we have one chance of rolling a 5 out of 8 possible outcomes and we set that equal to not rolling a 5 and though both of those added together is going to equal 1 so we can change our 1 to look like a fraction 8 over 8 and then we could subtract 1 8 from both sides and then we'll get the probability of not getting a 5. 8 minus 1 is 7 over 8. Another way that you could find the complement is you could just start by saying, if I need the complement of getting the probability of a 5, then that means I want the probability of not getting a 5. So you could just do it in one step. The probability of not getting a 5, you could get a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 6, a 7, and an 8. So you can count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have 7 ways that you could not get a 5 over 8 possible outcomes. So the probability of not getting a 5 would be 7 over 8. So you're going to get the same answer either way that you set it up. Now we're going to try some practice problems on your own and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Good luck.